Here's a Halo toy video from Atomic ETV. Hey everybody, I'm Stu Carter from Atomic ETV. I'm at the Mega Blocks Top Secret Showroom at the New York City Toy Fair with Tim. We're looking at a Halo. Halo. What like time? Yeah, wow. Okay, so what's going on this year? We've got some really exciting stuff with our Halo uh, Halo line this year. Micro yeah. action figures are all new and all improved. Uh -huh. You've got your, all of your UNSC characters now, all of your good guy characters have interchangeable armor. So all of your shoulder guards, your chest guards, your leg armor, all of that stuff is interchangeable amongst all of the different figures. Okay, great. So you can now pop and swap around the armor and make your own super soldier. Also added posability, so you added a ball joint into the elbow oh. and uh, and the, the into the shoulder, so you can actually look down the barrel of a rifle now. So these guys are going to become super posable. Great. So a lot of new stuff to I come. Know. I like playing with across myself. the full line. Yeah. And you get something new in the packaging. Yeah. Well, actually, you'll be able to see it across the packaging. Oh. Uh, you'll be able to see that uh, they're super posable, and the fact that uh, the, the armor is interchangeable amongst them. So all new packaging. You'll see these callouts across all the packaging starting this fall. And actually, super fans will notice on this packaging something really exciting that we're introducing, which is a whole new bunch of named characters, official characters to the line. So this is Emil from Halo Reach, and he, he's going to be there. He's got his iconic knife, and he's driving a fully buildable mongoose. So that's pretty exciting for us. There's the actual real deal. And there he is. There, there he is. A symbol. Yep. A couple of other named characters. We've got Sarah Palmer and Edward Davis. So then are you standing in front here? Yeah, we've got a full-size Cortana for the first time in a couple of years. And of course, one of the most requested figures, the uh, Didact. This is a full-size Didact. So it's actually built to scale compared to the other models or the other figures. So that's going to be really cool. Uh, a couple, and actually, in addition to a meal, you can build half of Noble Team in just this one season. So we've got an official Jun and an official Carter figure up there in that elephant up there. And there are two members from uh, the Noble Team, which is the uh, the protagonists from uh, Halo Reach. Yeah, the, uh, the game. And of course, we always try to introduce new armor styles and new figures, new character molds, figure molds. We've got an all new Brute Miner this year. We've got an all new Crawler Snipe. We've got an all new Gungnir armor. And actually, this is a Warthog that comes with two different Gungnir figures in it. Another named character, we've got the Rookie from Halo 3 ODST. And he comes with a remote control, uh, or sorry, not actually a remote control, it's a drone in the game remote control, so he'll have a handheld controller uh, to sort of fulfill that, uh, that role. A couple of Halo 2 Marines and a Flood Invasion set, which comes with an all new Flood tank form. An all new theme that we've introduced this year, we actually polled our community, our existing community of Megablocks Halo fans, and asked them what theme exists in the Halo universe that we haven't done yet in the Megablocks form. And the winning theme was the New Mombasa Police Department. So we've got New Mombasa Police Department troopers, a hornet, the police cruiser, and all the way over here, a police cyclops. And all those come with all new figures, and a really cool theme that'll, that'll be across all three of those sets. I like that. I want that. A yeah. couple of troop packs here. We've got uh -huh. Fire, Team, uh, Fire Team Crimson and Fire Team Venom with a few all new armor styles. We've got an Oceanic, we've got an Aviator, we've got an Enforcer, another Gungnir in this color. And of course, all of these come with that interchangeable armor, all new pose abilities. So it's a great way to build your troops uh, in a really quick way. Something we introduced this past spring is the Micro Fleet sets. So they come in these cool collectible helmets. Put that up on your wall, or you can use it for storage. The base plate here that you see is actually the back of the helmet. You can use it as a base plate, you can use it as a back. And of course, it's Micro Fleet. So these are identifiable, iconic uh, Halo vehicles built on an all new scale. And of course, those come with a figure starting this fall. Even the ones that we had in the, in the spring will have the all new armor style and posability in their figures. The Didact and the Cortana figure that we saw before are here in this broadsword set. This is a vehicle that we've never done before. It's highly in demand for the fans, and they're really excited to see this here. We've got a Didact, we've got a Master Chief, and we've got a Cortana, we've got a fully buildable broadsword. 
Okay. okay, so as we saw with the Micro Fleet, this is actually an all new set coming out this uh, this fall. We have the Falcon, and we'll be uh, we'll be doing that in a Micro Fleet with an all new sniper rifle, Halo 4 sniper rifle with a bipod. Okay, and up here we've got right in the back the biggest set coming out this this fall, uh, available everywhere. We've got a Jun and a Carter riding on an elephant. This is the elephant from Halo Wars. You'll have four other Marines that come along with that. And this is fully buildable, massive set. Gonna be super popular. And speaking of things we expect to be super popular, this is the front and center showpiece of our uh, of our display table. As you can see, this is the uh, the the. Uh, Mantis, and you can see on the video there, oh. it's fully remote control above the waist, so it rotates oh. around. Wow. It, uh, it shoots. It shoots. Shoots the uh, machine gun. You got real in-game sounds, and check out on the uh, screen there. You've got darts that actually launch. Wow. So the darts, on the other hand, can be controlled, and all of this is controlled with this Xbox One style controller. Nice. So really cool, new way to play with your Halo stuff after you've built it up. Great. And if you'd like, if you've got the patience, I can take you right. What is this huge thing here? Tim? This beast is our 2014 signature series. So we're revealing it earlier than we ever have before because we're so proud this, of it. This nuts of display, you're actually going to sell this? this is, we're actually going to sell this. This will be a Toys R Us exclusive starting fall 2014. This is the Covenant Scarab. It's the number one most requested massive vehicle that we've never done before and the signature series is a perfect fit for that one huge uh, technological feat from our design team is they've actually been able to make the scarab uh, withhold its own weight from these uh, from these four legs here we reached out to the community to find a custom builder named goodwill hunter who had built his own scarab years ago and we worked hand in hand with him to make sure that we got this scarab exactly right. And one thing that we're really proud to say is that we've actually been able to make it support its own weight. And it's in scale to the figures. It's in scale. Well, yeah, it's pretty close to in scale with the figures right now. Okay. Speaking of those figures, a few exclusive figures, uh, the Royal Guards and a Prophet. One of the first times we've got a Prophet, a Shackle Sniper, and of course a Master Chief. Who's going to be taking down that scarab this fall? That's included in the set. Right? That's all included in the set. Yeah. Oh, some really cool figures. That's great. That's about it. That's it. That's it for Halo. Well, thank you so much, Tim. And we're really excited for Halo this year. So am I. Between the boring